First of all, I got to talk about Illinois fans for a second. This is an interesting fan base that I've never come across before. Every time I tweet out something about uh, Will Riley, I almost said Bill O'Reilly. Um, every time I tweet out something about Will Riley, I get a bunch of different uh, Illinois fans that say, oh, he's going to Illinois. Why do you stop or keep reporting? Why do you keep reporting this? Uh, move on to something else. Well, I'll tell you one thing. The Arizona coaching staff has certainly not been informed of this. This is Shear's scoop right here. But, Shear, I'm going to allow you to say what you want to say. Unfortunately, I had no juice on this. This is all Jason Skier. All right, so here's the deal with with Real Riley. On Wednesday night, there was a Zoom call with uh, with Tommy Lloyd. Um, it probably would have been sooner, but the whole thing where Tommy was winning gold medals uh, kind of got in the way of the Zoom yeah. meeting. Look, the, the general belief is that Illinois probably leads right now, right? Like, that's where the momentum is. Illinois feels pretty good about it. Uh, I am very, very confident in saying Will Riley has not committed anywhere yet. Um, he has indicated to the schools involved that a decision would have come likely this weekend, and then he went out and he said he's deciding on the 23rd. A lot of times, and I'm not necessarily accusing Riley of doing that, but a lot of times the reason you do that is to kind of push up the price a little bit, right? See if you mm -hmm. can create a bidding war. Um, I don't know if that's what's going to happen, but he indicated he was going to decide this weekend, and now he's announcing the 23rd. Look, he could still call these teams and commit and then just announce on the 23rd. It would leak by then. Um, Illinois is probably in first right now. You never know. Um, but again, Arizona is still recruiting him like it's in there. But Arizona, I'm going to say this for Arizona. This is this is something that you need to keep in mind. First of all, Tommy Lloyd doesn't waste time with players that he doesn't think he's going to get. That is very, excuse me, I'm belching right now. That is a very important thing, all that girth. Um, but uh, that is a, that yeah, this is terrible. But that is a very important thing that you need to keep in mind. And, and somebody told me this. And keep in mind, this is all Skier's story. Skier scooped me very unhappy with Jason Shear. But uh, actually, no, I'm, I'm, I'm unhappy with the person that told you. Well, actually, no, I don't know. I don't know that person that told you. But um, he asked all the right questions. A lot of times, though, then somebody did tell me this. That wasn't who you told me. But a lot of times when you do these Zooms, coaches can generally find out really, really quickly. All right, is he serious? But when you're asking the questions about, okay, well, this guy's back. How am I going to fit in? Where would I go? What is all this? That is something that is very, very good when it uh, when it comes to this. So Arizona f believes that they are still very much in this, Jason Shear. Yeah. And I mean, look, and I'm sure Illinois feels great and they have every right to feel great. And there's a chance they get them for sure. I'm not saying Arizona is the leader or anything like that, but it wasn't a fake Zoom call. Like I, I there's been Zoom calls in the past where they'll hang up the phone and the coaches will turn to each other and be like, yeah, we're out. Uh, right. That hasn't happened yet. Now, look, if Will Riley calls Arizona tomorrow and is like, yeah, I'm interested, but I'm going to need $100,000 more, it's not happening, right? right. Like, just it, it's, you know, but they're in it until they're not, and I'm sure Kentucky's still recruiting them, and I'm sure other schools, and, and I'll say this, you know, last I heard, Kentucky was the one losing some yeah. momentum because they want him to be 2025. That is not happening. The mom and Will Riley are adamant that he is 2024. Yes, exactly. And again, we will uh, we will find this one out. But I'm also very, very interested, though, as to why Illinois fans keep telling me that I can't talk about this issue. I don't I've, I've gotten this like I've gotten about 10 different people that have told me stop talking about this issue. Move on. Why? Uh, that's an interesting one. Why do you care what I talk about? Arizona believes they're in it. Guess what? This is an Arizona show. I'm going to report what we uh, Arizona believes. And guess what? By the way, we never said that he was coming to the U of A. We said that they believe they're in it. And the other thing, too, we got a pretty good track record here. We will talk about what we want to talk about, period. We will not stand down, period. It's funny because on the Illinois board, like a couple of people were like, I hope they talk crap to Sheer when Riley comes to Illinois. It's like, I didn't say he's not going to Illinois. Like, I don't understand why you're so mad at. But I will say this. If he comes to Arizona... We are going to be relentless, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely relentless. So for the sake of all the people in the good state of Illinois. Look, I just figured after the Cliff Alexander thing, they'd be a little more careful. Uh, you know. Well, no, that was a great, that was a very, very good one, by the way. And Orlando Antigua. I don't care about Orlando Antigua. That's the other thing that fascinates me about this. They're like, um, well, sure. I'll let you read the message board post that you sent a couple days ago about Orlando Antigua and um, uh, Tommy Lloyd and the difference. 
and that one. Oh, maybe- it was like. Uh- Oh man, I gotta find it. But it was it was really funny. He was basically to- saying, um, why would he go to Arizona if Tommy Lloyd's the guy that he's in with when you have Orlando and Tigua here? And well, as Shear said, and Shear's yeah. very astute, Shear there's, said there's a little bit of a difference here. Well, one guy's the head coach and the other guy is a journeyman assistant. He is totally different, Jason Shear. By the way, since we're since we're uh we're on the the Illinois, you know, we're gonna we're going to troll them a little bit. Mm-hmm. There, there was a, a very good post on the message board uh, kind of highlighting how much better Arizona has been than Illinois over the past decade or so. Uh, you could probably go about uh, five, probably last four decades. Yeah. And it's like, like Illinois, this was the first year that Brad Underwood did any, like it, it's right. not, it's weird. It's very weird their place in, in college basketball and all that. And look, they'll always, they'll always have the win over Arizona. I get it. Uh, but I but also it's... don't understand the thing with Illinois that's – that's because, again, this isn't like something like Colorado fans where I just think that they're bizarre and weird. I just never really uh, – I just never really came across something where – it was such a group of fans that are just telling you, you cannot talk about this. I can talk about this. I will continue to talk about this. You know what I've noticed in this job, Mike, is like, I think Arizona has a passionate fan base. That's how I would describe Arizona's fan base, right? Right. Um, There's fan bases that are like, just like angry. Like Illinois, like why, like Colorado fans come to mind. Like, why are you so mad? Why are you so angry? I I don't get it at all. Do not understand it. You know what they should do? They should take some fruits and creams. Yes. We have never seen Ben one white upset. This is true. Never. Yes. And a big reason why is the fruits and the creams. We can attest to this. Erica L. Day can attest to this as well. Oh, and by the way, Illinois fans, uh, Illinois took a final four away from us so they can still. All right. Well, at the same time, if you want to go by that, and this is before Shear came to Arizona, Arizona beat Illinois in the Elite Eight to go to the final four and then the national championship game. So, boom, take it. All right. Now, let's talk about. Let's talk about a player, and this is on sheer. Do not blame me on the board. I get beat up many, many times on the board for saying, oh, you overhyped something, even though I did not. Sheer is the one that said we could have talked about this today. Keep in mind, it's all Shear's info, not my information. But we cannot put this name out, but you are all very, very smart people. You're much smarter than me. Maybe not smarter than Sheer, but certainly smarter than Jacob Franklin. But the uh, I still think the question is, there is a very big time visitor that would also be a nice little, uh, nice little insurance policy. Uh, Jason Shear, what say you, my friend? Yeah, I can't come out and say it yet. There were some holdups. I know I told people on the board 24 hours. It was supposed to be 24 hours. Um, there's a reason I'm keeping this one secret. But yeah, I mean, I always laugh when people say like, "There's a guy on the board that says like Tommy Lloyd is only focusing on one guy." Like, that's just not how recruiting has ever worked. No. You recruit multiple guys. Yeah, Arizona wants Will Riley, but there's other guys that you kind of shift to. You don't just say, Will Riley or we're done. That's very rare. Uh, they clearly want to add another guy if it fits in with what they want, and and they're they're moving to that. Yes, and this player is very, very good. This would not be the um... – here's where I'm at with international players. Again, that's all – That's all you get. Nothing. Nothing else. That's all you get. But here's where I'm at with international players. I generally don't. I take no. I take no uh, immediate solace in that they're going to be able to do anything here initially. Now, now listen. Maybe that changes. But with the Tommy Gun, the results kind of speak for themselves. With that, maybe they turn out to be good. But you can look at it. Adama Ball turned out to be good elsewhere. Obviously, Uh, Henry, uh, Philly B. Polyus, Conrad, it's you're bad in a lot of offers right there as far as immediate impacts. This kid is not an offer. I would feel very comfortable in saying, Jason Shear, that this player would be very, very good. Very, very good. I always look at it as upside and downside, right? Like mm-hmm. when you add an international and you're you're looking for him to contribute right away, and you have to have him contribute, or your team's not going to be very good. Right. That's a big risk. Um, if this guy comes in and he's not that good, you're cool. You still have a great roster, right? If he comes in and he's really good, well, all of a sudden, now your roster is elite. right? And, and so to me, there's just really no downside. I've watched film on him. He's he's good. He can shoot, all that. It's he's all over NBA radars. How about that? 
Is he an immediate impact guy? Like I think Riley would be. We'll see. I don't know. And it's it's hard. Like we talked about international players. It's really hard to scout them. Like yeah. I've seen Will Riley play for a year. I, I this guy, I, I don't, I mean, I watch YouTube. But I will say there is something, I don't want to get into this and get into trouble, but I will say there is something that I was talking with our good friend, John Brogan. And I said there, when I, when it comes to Euros that are coming to college, I am now of this belief that I will side with one aspect of it. I cannot get into this though, because I am not looking to get canceled, but um, we all, the MNBA radar is on Dennis Walsh, by the way, everybody again, for the, uh, for the 30th time, cause I'm going to mention it tonight on Twitter. The MNBA is a joke. I am mocking people that say the MNBA. I will continue to mock people that say the MNBA. So again, please do not uh, think that I am being. Is it over tonight? Does it end tonight? Yeah, yeah, I think it does. Speaking of a good international man, Luka Doncic really got eaten alive. Pardon the pun by uh, uh, Brian Windhorst. Yeah, bad. These finals are a bad look for him. Yes, exactly. Still accept Erica L. Day. This is very, very true. All right, T. Burns, the great T. Burns. All right, uh, let's see here. This roster is already eight deep. Uh, nine if Henry emerges. Either of these guys are a bonus. I agree. I agree. But it also shows yeah. you. I also it also shows you the to where Arizona is though in the grand scheme of the recruiting wars though that oh Joson Sanon shoo shoo shoo. By the way, Joson Sanon's agent blocked me. I have never mentioned Joson Sanon's uh, agent's name. I have never seen him, and he blocked me. But yeah, they hate you. They hate. They absolutely hate you. I mean, I, I mean, I, I don't. A lot of people do, but that's that's who you are. Yeah, what do you do? One end of the stick, you pick up the other. Hey, you want to hear something funny? Jason Shear called me one time, and uh, amongst many times, and he says, "I don't know that I've ever come across somebody that has the ability to get under people's skin without really saying much, like you do." <laughs> Joe on St. On's agent is Rich Carrillo. He is not. I don't. Well, that, <laughs> that is very, very interesting. But uh, Rich Carrillo, that was fun. All right. But let's uh, let's get back to uh, let's get back to some recruiting because we do not like getting off topic on this show. On this show, we do one thing. We stay on topic. We never deviate. We go. Now, let's talk about some other players as well. Tune Day is visiting. I expect Tune Day. I, Arizona is going to make a huge push for a Tune Day Yesifu commitment. I'm going to put Jason Shear on the spot. And this isn't one of these crystal balls that they do at 24 7 where you can change it nine times like uh, uh, Blair or Trujillo or whatever and then claim you were right or whatever his name is. Um, sorry, that was me saying that, not you. Um, but the uh, at this time next month, is Tunde Yesifu an Arizona Wildcat? Nobody's yeah. watching, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I think Arizona leads going to the visit. I'll, I'll say this one thing that makes me worried is he's he's been killing it this summer. Uh, there are schools he's he's about to become, you know, like Kentucky's all over them, and and there it's probably going to be Arizona, Kentucky. Uh, but I think Arizona's in a good spot. He's going to enjoy the visit. They've been recruiting him the longest by far. I actually thought he would be committed to Arizona by now. Uh, I, I think this is a, a very important weekend for his recruitment. Right. And uh, and I think Arizona will probably work a little bit to kind of narrow down his focus and have him not drag out this process a lot longer. All right, Tony Clifton, the great Tony Clifton, came in late. Did we sign Riley? No, we did not sign Riley. But Arizona feels that they are very much in it. Illinois fans are freaking out because we are reporting about this. They do not want us reporting it. That's the other thing, Sheer. Let me ask you this about uh, our Illinois friends. Um by the way, one guy actually changed his profile picture because I uh, told him, I said, hey, dude, cut me with the Jersey Shore wannabe stuff. And he changed his profile picture because of that. But um, have you ever, if you know that a kid's going to your school, why do you care what anybody else is saying? No, I want them to, to talk about it more because it actually, it makes it look better when he comes to your school. I mean, I just don't get it. Oh, by it's the way, or, yes. Um, oh, by the way, Oregon just got a commitment from maybe the best name in all of college basketball. Yeah, Supreme Cook. Supreme Cook. How and many? Is, how does how does Oregon have so many roster spots? Um, I don't know, man. They they do different stuff up there. Mike, let's talk about the hat. My hat, Jason. Sure, do you like this hat? I love that hat. I don't yeah. understand. 
All right, Stat Freak, I will not change for you. This will not happen. I no, 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 no. This we've been very clear about the hat, and we'll get back to two. Maybe games. he just wants to talk about the hat, like he likes it and he wants to talk about it. I think that he's been. Uh, I think he's been uh, admiring from afar. My mother hates the hat. She thinks that. Uh, she thinks that this is a very, very good thing. What is? Uh, let's see here. They didn't, but it would make me laugh. What did Erica L. Day? I don't know what Erica L. Day is referring to. Um, but either way. Uh, Tunde Yesifu. Yes, he has been killing it. You know what's interesting about Tunde? And we watched him. Uh, we watched him last year, and we both came away with the same thing. And generally, Sheer and I. Do you think we generally agree on prospects? What sixty-five percent of the time? Yeah. All right. We just told. We totally. Uh, we and we agreed on Tunde. We're like, yeah, I guess you offer him, but it does think that uh, it does. You do kind of wonder a little bit. You know what that upside is, but. I guess he's found the one thing though that I will say though, Sheer, is that he's a very good athlete. That helps. I like you. Look, the, the thing with two didn't days, like him last think, year as much. Don't try this. Last thing. year, though, we agreed and, and we both said the same thing. If if he develops a jumper, he's a completely different prospect. And yeah. I'm excited to see him next week. But I watched videos of the NBA top 100 the other day and he had a step back three. Like, if that's a part of his game now, he, he is, I mean, no right. brainer. Right, right. I, no, yeah, I, he's I, weird because of how he's built. He's built like Stanley. Like he's not a tall guy, but, but he's, we're also, but we're also not, uh, we're also not considering him though tall. Like we're also not considering him though to be a top three prospect. I was right. going, I was not, I was a kid, I was not kidding around though when I did say that. Um, uh, what was it? Nah, I can't even remember now. Oh, real quick. Uh, people are mentioning the uh, facial hair. Check this out. This is from eight years ago, my friends. Eight years ago. Mike Luke, look at... That's a... You got to admit... After Mike, uh, that's after I, I bailed out Mike from jail. You got to admit, this is a heck of a mustache. I think that's almost too much mustache. Totri, can you grow a mustache like this? I see Totri in here. No, this is a very, very good mustache. All right, now, Coa Pete. All right, news on Coa Pete. Coa Pete was on campus yesterday. Um, I believe that Arizona will be in this one until the very, very end. Um, what say you, Jason Shear? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, well, it, it's Arizona knows how much it's going to cost, and Arizona has been preparing for that cost for years now. Uh, could it get outbid? Yeah, probably, but right. Um, it, it is not going to be ill prepared. Really right. smart to get him on campus now. He's going to make, he, he's at Team USA. I think that starts tomorrow. He's going to make the team. Uh, yeah. I mean, he's going to be there for, for quite a bit. Smart move to get him on this summer. All right. Now let's talk about somebody else from Gilbert Perry. Gilbert Perry has a lot of very, very good basketball players. There is another one that is going to be a sophomore that we're going to be watching with Frank Caliendo. And his name is Bruce Branch. This is very interesting. What's going on at Gilbert Perry? This has become a. Uh, this has become a kind of a. Uh, they're out prep schooling the prep schools, and they're not even a prep school. Sheer, you got four NBA guys, and let's be honest here. You're probably we're talking about Dylan being a you know a possible NBA guy as well. Yeah, which yeah. would be lottery pick. Which. Which. <laughs> which would be. Five. But this kid's we need Boise out. State fans to get on on that one. I want to see yeah. the Boise State fan base be like, "Yeah, we know Dylan's a lottery pick. I'm glad the Arizona fan reporters know what they lost." Yes, exactly. No, we do know what we lost. We do know what we lost though with him. But Bruce Branch, though, another guy that we're going to watch. He is very, very good. You can watch him for five seconds and be like, "Yeah, that's a kid that's probably going to be offered." 